So this gets us to the, the let me just recap the, the differentiation between the two models, right? The existing model versus the future model. Flawed incentive structures, right? Advertising drives the existing machine. Ad dollars is it, right? The only way to get distribution is through paying the machine. Uh, creators do not build long-term value or ownership of their content. They have to give that up to somebody else, right? And so they have to release what makes them them, right? All of the goods that come out of their brain are literally be give, given away to these machines and the machines are monetizing them and the individual does not create any value in that relationship. The business does not own the audience, right? So as a business, you're constantly paying for this depreciating asset. You, you, you rent depreciating assets, you invest in appreciating assets. An audience should be an appreciating asset. You should want to own that. Right? You don't want to rent your audience, but that requires a way bigger investment than paying some advertiser to, to spread your message. That involves building trust and building real relationships with those people. Right? Consumers always feel like a commodity when they're being manipulated and traded for information, right? when they're being the brokers of the data, when, they're, when they are the information that's being traded. They're always going to feel as a commodity. And the privacy concerns and the lack of trust is built in. So the future model changes it and flips the incentives. It distributes the incentives. Right? It says, hey creators, help us build this machine, we're gonna pay you for doing that. Instead of taking all the ad dollars for ourselves, we're gonna distribute that amongst the contributors and you, you distribute, again, the value of building that network. Uh, creators own their portion of the network, so again, they build long-term value, they build this digital annuity, so a creator can be anyone. It could be a subscription service, it could be a financial company, it could be a, a, an insurance broker who's providing value as it relates to advice for how their policies or consumers, whoever is creating, Right? Don't just think of this as somebody who's writing or making a video. We're all creators of some level. We all take things out of our brains and build them, especially as in a digital world where we're, we're building these ideas into tangible products. We have to start protecting that, right? Uh, business retains direct access to the earned audience. It's your audience, right? You, you have that relationship. You own the traffic. You own the exposure. You own the engine. Um, consumer is empowered as a syndicate. So right now there's this follower mantra, right? You got to follow me. Like, I don't want to follow anyone. Right? I want to either take a stake in helping them succeed and being a part of their machine or not. Right? Like, this following is so archaic, right? Everyone still follows, but what if there was a model where you became, think about how a radio station syndicates content. Right? Somebody creates a piece of content, 50 other radio stations syndicate it. What that means is they are going to rebroadcast that message right, to their audience, to their demographic, to whatever. And so if you change the relationship, of the consumer of content to more of that syndicate relationship where now they have some level of control of the curation of the content. And you, again, tied those incentive structures back to that, you create a whole new model.